My name is Enda McNally and uh, I'm here at the Art Improvement Clinic. So basically what we're doing is we're taking prints of very well-known images and uh, drawing on them and collaging on top of them to create original works. So this, this was a, a couple came along and asked specifically for this one to be rectified, as it were. This is a Damien Hirst uh, spot painting, which is a series of colours and uh, in, in circles and um, I'm just cutting out some coloured paper and uh, trying to uh, make it a little bit less Damien Hirst like not exactly a perfect circle there but we've also been um, asking people if they had any artwork that they had at home that they weren't quite happy with that we'd uh, fix it for them so uh, there was a um, lady up earlier with uh, an oil painting it was a landscape of a, a hillside and a sea so I put um, some abseilers on it and uh, uh, a, a mime at the top, like uh, knocking their ladder off. I was a little anxious at first because I thought um, I thought she'd come back and be furious that I'd made a kind of irreverent little collage on top of her oil painting, but um, no, she, she really liked it. Hello, my name's Charlie Partridge. I'm here today working for Burt Industries' God Spank the Queen show. It's all about self-teaching people about healthy and safe practices in spanking. My name's Bert, I'm, a, I'm an artist and I was asked for Coco de Mer to do an unusual spanker and so I decided to model it on my own hand and do a variety of different hues, some tattooed. I launched it with a show called God Spank the Queen and since then I've been asked to do a number of spankatrons. People seem to love it. Marilyn Manson bought a few from me and from then on basically we've been spanking our way through the past couple of months. This is my 1979 electric milk float. Um, I've salvaged it from um, a friend of mine, Tom Dixon, who was going to use the electric parts for an old Bentley. Didn't work out. Being the salvager that I am, I like the idea of putting art on the back and taking art to the people. And so um, today I'm doing pints of art, milk bottles, glass traditional milk bottles, painted in matte black, matte grey, matte white, and a few Illumo colours, being orange, yellow, and pink, electric pink. And how have these gone down with, um, with the punters? Amazingly. Well, I was in in con contest with the older Damon Herskew here, so I sort of retreated thinking, oh, that's me done for the day. And then, no, we challenged it. We had our little queue wrapping around the milk float, and people were happily waiting, even in the rain, and waiting for their pints, pints of art. So what do you think about the art car beat fair so far? Um, yeah, quite interesting. Um, different things. I liked the um, the face paint, Picasso face painting, and also the um, what was the the poet, the poem artist, Caroline. But you didn't get your face painted. No, I didn't get the face painted. I did consider it, but I, I decided no. And I need some tambourine experts for this one. I'm Zoe Sinclair and I'm here with Andrea Blood. We're an artist duo called The Girls and today we're working with Julia Royce from Posted Projects and it's a, it's a collaboration celebrating the dying art of letter writing. The British Postal uh, Museum and Archive have loaned us several um, items from their archive of real um, postal memorabilia, so lots of um, books, lots of leaflets, lots of um, badges, uh, all the costumes. We've made a mini museum in the back of the van, so the idea is that we would be on the road and we would travel up and down the UK bringing the post, post office to people that haven't seen the post office or, or you know, where, where it's dying out. Another thing is that lots of children today have, have literally never written a real letter, so this really is just surreal for them. They don't know what it is. And do you still write letters? I do write letters of complaint, yeah, yeah. because I do find that they get a good response still. And also, if you really want to get noticed, um, nothing beats sending something physical through the post. Particularly with blue ink, people really respond to it. I mean, emails just disappear, but physical things, there's they such a... The they sit on the desk, they demand attention. I met, I met you that night with uh, a little what you fancy. Fine, I'm Olivia, I'm from the MA Fine Art from Central St. Martins and I'm here with my colleagues and I brought uh, to this occasion a painting of um, 1918. It's a portrait and on each location I changed the background matching to the place, to the new place. 
It's called Moment and it's always going up in numbers, so um, it is altered with time and it is ongoing and never ending. So it's always the same painting with, um, with this, this chap in here and you change the background, you just paint over it. Yeah, I match the background of the painting to the background, to the wall or the situation the painting is in. This afternoon is a bit of a special occasion, usually I, uh, I alter it to a wall. Uh, because this is quite um, a moved occasion, uh, it is a scarf, it is a Russian scarf, who is movable as well, so I could move the painting around and it doesn't have to be fixed to a wall. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.